Uh, we've got a 550 super chat, $5.50 Canadian from Bannister Post. Is it a smart idea to disable low power disarm on Crossfire or others like in a Bando where you could fail safe? How and any negatives? So what you're asking about Bannister Post is the beta flight option where when you disarm, your video transmitter goes to low power. And this is the advantage of this, as I'm sure you know, but just in case anybody else doesn't, that it keeps your video transmitter from overheating when you first plug in. Because the video transmitter is at low power, you plug in the quadcopter, you set it down, you, you know get everything ready to go. Your video transmitter is at 25 milliwatts and it's not overheating. Then when you arm, it goes to full power and you go and you fly. But if you crash far away or in a bando behind some concrete and you disarm, now it's at low power again and you may lose video. That's valid. Um, the A way to work around that is to activate turtle mode and then arm. And when you do that, it'll go back to full power. And then you can see what the situation is without spinning your props. So that is a workaround. Uh, there definitely are people who will decide to leave low power disarm disabled because they want to stay at full power uh, when they crash. The problem with that is that if you stay at full power when you crash and you crash and are not able to recover quickly, then your video transmitter will overheat and you'll lose video. So it's a it's a trade-off. There's no one right answer, uh, but uh, it's a valid concern. And I think a workaround is to use turtle mode and arm to force it to full power without spinning the props.